Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone. My name is Fadil Kimasi Alpamukas and this is my friend. My name is Sabili Aka. We are from Public Senior High School, Wan Kesik. Hari Peduli Sampah Nasional merupakan peringatan tragedi longsornya TPA Lui Gajah di Jawa Barat. 21 Februari 2005 setelah didahului letusan jutaan meter kubik sampah longsor. Menimbun puluhan rumah, mengubur lebih dari 8 hektar kebun dan lahan pertanian serta menewaskan lebih dari 140 orang. Tragedi longsor ini dipicu manajemen pengelolaan sampah yang buruk. Tempat pembuangan akhir Lui Gajah merupakan menggunakan sistem open dumping. Artinya, sampah dibuang dan ditumpuk begitu saja. The volume of landfill is increasing every year, especially in Kersi Regency, which is in TP Angipi, which amounts 257 tons of garbage every day. The amount is divided into two as follows, 71.68% in the form of organic waste and 11.61% in the form of plastic waste. Those were dominated by food waste. This waste produces a methane gas which has the potential to cause an explosion because of the gas trapped in the garbage pile when it does not manage properly. According to Undang-Undang No. 18 of 2018 concerning waste management that must be reduced and handled properly. The need for animal or reason food increases everything along with the increasing human population. It can be an opportunity for barley feeders to increase production and quality of barley chicken. But barley feeders have several problems. One of those is the feed animal. Generally, barrel feeders depend on important material such as soybean meal, fish meal, and vitamins for animal feed. Meanwhile, it charges 70 to 80 percent of their production costs. Various types of insects can be used as poultry feed. Black shoulder fly is one of the insect types that has the potential to be used as animal feed. PSF larva have cellulitic activity carried out by bacteria in their intestines. The presence of this bacteria can help larva convert organic waste in the form of cellulose degradation. PSF larva are able to convert organic waste into protein and fat in their body biomass. Therefore, we conducted a research entitled Black Shoulder Fly Larva Innovation as a waste bioconversion and protein producer for flurry chicken production. Research purpose. The objective of our research are first is to determine the effect of different BSF growing media, second is to determine the effect of feeding using BSF, and the last is to increase the profitability of pearl breeder. Research methods. The research method that we do is first we conducted a preliminary test of food and compost waste. From food waste, it found that the amount of water content was 77.46% with a pH level of 3.36 and carbon nitrogen ratio of 46.67. Meanwhile, from the compost waste, it found that the water content was 37.61% with a pH level of 8.34 and a carbon nitrogen ratio of 5.98. Bioconversion test. Next is the bioconversion test. We tried three growing media with a ratio of food waste and compost. 90 to 10, 70 to 30, and 60 to 40. We did this test for 14 days. Sampling was carried out on the following day. Of the three got media, as mentioned before, the most optimal result is the ratio of 90 to 10. Result of feed formulation on the weight of pearl chicken, it can be seen that the weight gain in A2 increased the most significantly. Conversion of the ratio, it can be seen at A2 with the lowest FGR, which is 1.44. Profit margin results. We can see the difference between the use of conventional feed with PSF feed formulations, with the difference in production cost of 2006 rupiah and an increase in profit of 63%. Conversion.
belle année. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.